Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. Today I would like to show you the new Raptor Advance bow from Shootech. I was actually fortunate uh, enough that they asked me for my um, input during the development of this product and I tried to be as helpful as possible. But this is really a breakthrough in slingshot technology. As you see it works pretty much like a compound bow but it uses rubber as an energy source and you can also shoot steel balls. So this is a 10 millimeter steel ball and as you see it, it simply attaches to a magnet here in the holder. You can still attach a arrow, an arrow too. And what makes this so special is that it's faster than any slingshot that I've ever tested. So we'll shoot the 10 millimeter ball over the crony now. That was 148 meters and seven. That was the fastest result I ever clocked with a 10 millimeter steel ball. Far faster than you can do with a normal slingshot. Let's test the 12 millimeter steel ball now. The 12 millimeter steel ball is the largest steel ball that the bow can handle because of the capacity of the magnet and also because of the angle of the drawn out bowstring. Bow string. The 12 millimeter steel ball did 119.1 meters per second. So now we will test the draw of this bow. It's set up with the maximum performance bands. You can go lower at any time. And so we attach a scale here to the uh, bowstring and we'll now, now draw it out and see how high it goes. So as you can see the maximum was just under 80 pounds and now it's holding at about 30 pounds. So I now installed um, an arrow rest and as you see you can still knock a regular arrow. You don't have to disassemble the string for that purpose. So it's a very quick conversion. Let's shoot the arrow over the crony. So that was 76.39 with a 25 gram arrow. So I asked the guys at Shootech why they used rubber instead of other compound materials and uh, the explanation was pretty clear. First of all they said it's because it's more consistent and more efficient but I think the most important argument is that it can shoot the very lightweight steel balls. If you would do that with a normal bow the result would be that it would almost like would be almost like dry firing the bow which is very very bad mm -hmm. for the mechanics. Rubber is far more forgiving in that regard. So all in all, this makes this the fastest slingshot that I've ever clocked. It's also the most accurate slingshot because you really have an aiming system with the, with the peep sight and the 3D sight here that is attached to the bow. I think it's a major step for the slingshot community. I think the bow will cost about seven to eight hundred dollars based on at what time you order it and also what kind of extras you want with it. And I think it's worth every penny with the carbon fiber, fiber risers here, um, excellent workmanship. It, I, it's, it's just a great product, I'm completely convinced. Well, that was it for today. I hope that you liked it. Thanks and bye bye. Okay, so as a little bonus, I finished my four shooting, four arrow shooting crossbow. As you see, it's now much smaller and also I did a paint job and it's still a very functional um, crossbow like this. It's fun. <laughs> One more bonus. It's a slingshot I made for a great knife maker from France. Um, and I'm going to do a trade with him against one of the knives that he did. So I made this one for the uh, Panther frame, stainless steel, and I attached a handle made from red cedar wood. And I really like it. See how it 
changes the color from this yellow to the deep red here in the knot and it's also a very comfortable hammerhead like handle.